Hi guys, how is it going? So, I'm working on a project um, and the project is to build the cheapest USB soldering station. So, I ordered this ones from eBay, it's a USB soldering, uh, soldering iron ship and uh, I wanted to make it um, temperature controlled and make a soldering station of it so basically I used an Arduino Uno a Nokia LCD a rotor encoder and I have stuff here to measure and show to you guys how this is working so let me set these voltages first So, it's powered by 12 volts here, and uh, this is the power supply. So, let's start. I don't know. I don't know if you can see the display. So, let's start. And uh, this is cold, as you can see. Let's put the solder. And it's it's working. It's set for 260. I can set it for 300. So this is the set temperature. This is the correct temperature. As you can see, it's very fast. And it's control with PWM. Uh, oh. I switch this off just a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is very tedious to work. <laughs> yes. Okay. This should. Why is not working? Oh. <laughs> okay. Wrong. Wrong time. Okay. So, as you can see, the PWM is working here, it's tuning, and uh, it's working nice. And uh, I can show you guys with uh, these joints, these pads, heavy pads with irons and stuff, I can easy melt them, look at that, this. This big one with two wires. Not a problem. I'm amazed how this tip with very, very little thermal capacity. It's almost heat instantaneously and it colds so fast that was very difficult to me to find a, a good um, tuning for this so as you can see we can adjust it here but until 400 well it can go more but <laughs> I don't want it because I want to preserve it's the only iron I have for now the only USB for testing so I, I don't want to burn the tip however I already make it uh, about 500-600 <laughs> 
Okay. So how does this work? This I I remove the the inside and grab the MOSFET from the the, the PCB which is underneath this board. It's just the traditional connection to the heater. Uh, and the, this LED is parallel with the heater and I have a thermistor, two wires connected to the tip 100k thermistor 3950 beta and uh, we, you, I just run four wires here so I keep uh, the, the sleeve for the heater and join two wires for better um, power and the other two, this, this is actually a USB cable with shielded, I use the shield for one of the pins of the, the heater and join two, two wires together to have more, um, more copper, se copper section and uh, it's working very good as you can see I have memories and three memories oh let me show you first how does this hit so I have to adjust this weather but uh, it's marking 285 and 290 287 it's about it this is so 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 small thermal capacity that uh, uh, 10 microseconds is enough to cool this uh, <laughs> very fast so this speed uh, tuning was very difficult and I have to tweak it a little more to have the right uh, tuning however I want to implant, implement this on software so you can tune this um, in software and um, also this can be controlled via serial connection you enter commands and change the PID, save, save the app ROM settings reset the settings for fail save and, uh, and so on and uh, I, I want to implement a standby so when you pick the iron the, it senses a, a dramatic drop in temperature so it turns on the, the iron and uh, I want to add a beep so we want to reach the temperature you, you hear a beep but I don't know about this feature because um, uh, this is working 12 volts by the way <laughs> As you can see, 12 volts. This it's supposed to work with five, but I'm working with 12. So let me show what I do. What I did. Uh, this is this has a bar graph here. Want to show the power? As you can see, it's not set to the maximum. I set it to 80 percent because I want to preserve the tip and the. Uh, you have the memories and you can click it and then cycle to the memories if you stay held if you hold the button you now can choose the value that was on the screen and store it on the memory like so as you can see M2 is stored and uh, if you shut off this and turn on again the memory is there it's in the, in the app room and the, the previous memory is restored and uh, if you guys uh, have any idea what I can add to this iron 